Hey everybody, 49 M. So I got an email, right? And I, I just got this email asking me what I thought about Kanye West and like the whole mental health and all that other stuff. So I'm gonna be brutally honest with you here. As anybody knows, or if you don't know, I'm a big Kanye West fan. I love Kanye West. I don't, I, I love him. I like his attitude, the way he approached it. I, I just, I'm not saying I love everything that he does, but I'm just saying I'm a, I'm a fan of his. I, I get it. Like I can wrap my mind around why he acts way he's acting. This, and this is from somebody that's in the mental health field. Boom, I'm about to break it down to you right now. And this is just my personal opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. Boom, here we go. Now, when Kanye West first came out, like, everybody looked at him as <clears throat> very cocky. You know, and I don't think it was, I don't think he was being cocky. I, I don't. I really don't. What I feel is that's like, he believed in himself to a whole nother degree that people can't understand. And when people can't understand that, oh, you're crazy. This is crazy. Like Dave Chappelle said, the word crazy is dismissive. When people don't understand things, now you crazy. Think about this. All right, let's wrap our heads around this. You ever been in a conversation with somebody and they be like, wow, that's crazy. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. They're being dismissive because they want to end the conversation. There's your proof right there. Any something I've done it myself, I'd be like, word, that's crazy. Word, just trying to rush the person off the phone. Like, I don't really get, I don't care. I'm being dismissive. And people have done it to me. I have done it to others. And everybody has that lived experience. It's the truth. That is what it is. I do not think that he's crazy. We need to eliminate that word crazy. Like, if you want to be dismissive to somebody, then you could call them crazy. What I believe happened was this, right? You see, people don't understand. It's like, Everybody always looks at the reaction. They never look at what it took to get you there. He wasn't always like that. And I, and I know, nobody can push a button that doesn't exist. But I think the button was developed. I don't think it was always there. He was who he was before he got here. He knew what he knew the assignment from the long, long time ago days. And I feel like just because other people don't have that type of confidence, he knew he was going to be great. He knew it. He felt it in his bones. And now he's crazy. Because everybody doubted that man. Do y'all remember that? Oh, he could just all, all he could do is be a, be a producer. He can't be a rapper. Next thing you know, he said rapper. Oh, he can't do this. He can't. He can't tie in God. Next thing you know, Jesus walks. Like, are you dumb? If I had to live a, a, I had to live in my career with people doubting me constantly, constantly, constantly doubting me. And now y'all act why you want to know why I'm reacting like this? Because everything I do, y'all doubt me. Everything I do, you doubt me. Come on, man. And now I'm crazy and have a mental illness. Yeah, that button was developed along with some other stuff that could be going on. And then it's so crazy being an entertainer, right? How you look at it. His mom's died. And he still had to perform. I'm going to run it. That's like when something happens to you and you still got to show up. You don't know about that unless you live that. Oh, I'd be able to do it. You lost your mama. Like the only one you're going to get. Like. Like the person that pushed you out of her whole vagina suits me for being too graphic. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm a big Kanye West fan. I don't agree with that. Like, everybody has their shit with them, but it's like that was developed over time. He didn't just walk out the pussy crazy, excuse my language. Like, that, that's what it is. If people keep doubting you your whole life, you in a career. This is, this is your life. Like, this mental health shit that I do and other people in the social work field, this is our life. We never know how to take off that counselor hat. That is the hardest thing for me to do. I could be talking to somebody and immediately I get into Dr. Phil mode. And, 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 and you know, that, that's, just, it is, that's just what that is. It's for you. You embody that about yourself. You know, you try to be as versatile as you can and you try to switch hats. And that's a very difficult thing to be able to switch hats. I do not think he's crazy. What I think is that he spent the majority of his career, even to, people always doubt him. Anytime he comes with some new, think about it. He started off as a producer. Oh, uh, you can't really make beats. And they know that, that nobody even knew how many beats he actually made for people. <laughs> Wake. Then he's like, no, nah, I want to be a rapper. He could, he could, he could rhyme. He could, oh, he could feel it. He could do it. Got doubted again. I want some money. Because I'm looked up the Andros. Right. Gave you hit after hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Hit, 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 hit. Gave you all these hits. So you said he couldn't be a producer. He did it. You said he couldn't be a rapper. He did it. Now, oh. You, 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 can't, you can't be in gospel. You, you can't do that. You got a whole choir out this bitch. Are you dumb? This is the biggest one. Oh, when he had that interview with Sway. Y'all remember that? He said, you ain't got the answers, Sway. You ain't got the answers. And no disrespect to Sway. Nobody had the answer and he still did it. Now everybody got Yeezys on their feet. Come on, man. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Come on, man. People kill me with that mental health shit. Stop dragging it. You got to understand where it originated from. 
That's the problem. The, when you, if you want to know something, and this, and this is true. This, this is the truth. I don't care what anybody says. If you want to know the heart and trauma of anyone's pain or why they behave the way they behave, you must go back to the beginning. Now, you can meet them where they at so you can understand what you're dealing with. But you got to go back to the beginning to understand this thing. You, you must. That is a requirement. Because something happened that changed them forever. People don't just, like, I didn't, I didn't walk out angry. I did, and I had to learn how to not be angry. Oh, my God. I had to learn this. And that's an everyday thing you got to show up for. And imagine being somebody like, like him. Put yourself in his shoes. Yeah, he got all the money in the world. He could do whatever. But that's a lot of, still, the trauma, it don't matter. Trauma does not care about money. That's like how, when you, when you, uh, like, uh, that's like addiction. It don't care about your money and how you look. It just, it just determines whether the addiction going to be real bad or kind of bad. That's all it does. Like with the mental health. Come on. Understand. Under, that's the problem. People never want to take an opportunity or a chance to understand somebody and understand why or really analyze, like, why do you do this? People don't do things for no reason. They just don't. Whether it's a chemical imbalance, whether it has to do with what they eat in their, their, their situation, their environment, all of that stuff. Stop doing that to that man. I'm not saying that's anybody's job to just go. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that everything that he does is right or can't even be explained at this point because he grown grown. What I am saying is that if I, if you had to live a lifestyle, a career that you love to death, this is you and you believe you, it, it amazed me like you can believe in yourself that so much that people hate you and doubt you and want to talk shit because they ain't never seen nothing like that. People have never seen other people believe in themselves to the degree that Kanye West does. Are you shitting me? That's a whole new level. I'm on a new level. And he got a shovel. Like, are you dumb? People crazy, man. People, I, and, and I say they crazy because people are so dismissive. They were mad because they didn't believe in themselves. Let me tell you something. If you believe in yourself to that degree, which I encourage everybody to, everybody else can, everybody else can fuck off. Fuck out of here. F-O-H. F-O. I wish I knew sign language. F-O-H. 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 Cheese and rice. People get offended because of the way you believe in yourself. Can you imagine? <laughs> it behooves me every time. I'm behooved. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mental health is real. We can't just people like. I'll give you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna share something with y'all. Oh God, I don't even know. I should share this. I'm getting hot. All right, boom. Here we go. So, I went to see a psychiatrist. Right now, this is back in uh, 2016, like June. This is like two. Th no, the end of May. Like around the end of May, going into June. Right and. The first thing they want to do, and this is this is just the truth. This is my experience. I, I, this is my, my this is my experience, and what I've seen happen out to people. Those want to push medicine. Oh no, you need to take the medicine. Now I know the, the medicine gonna help. The medicine gonna help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't hear shit I had to say. You don't know what what got me here. Why I'm here. What I'm dealing with. You don't know. You don't know shit. But you so quick to give me a fucking pill. That's even to this day, right? Doctor be like, I don't sleep at night. It's a long story. When I get comfortable telling you that story of why I don't sleep at night, you're like, oh, shit, word, <laughs> word. So it's very difficult for me to sleep at night. If I get a good night's rest, it's beautiful. Like, if I feel comfortable enough, it's because my mind, I don't know how to shut down my mind at times. Like, I just, it just keep going and going and going and going and going. It's like, oh, my goodness, this is a, this is a horror show, right? So they so quick to oh, take this pill. Not if you eat kiwis at night, it helps you rest, right? Even if you take a little bit of melatonin, it helps you rest. Hell, tire yourself out and then take a nice bath and turn off everything and then rest. They don't they don't give you any of these other other coping skills. And they don't give you any of this. It's just take the pill. You'll feel all right. We're not taking the pill. Is it a pill for somebody that really believes in themselves? And just because you don't understand when people don't understand things, they panic. They oh, oh, you need a pill. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, they, they always have some type of label. And it's so crazy. The labels that they put on him, he's still winning. Labels and all. Still winning. Oh, he's bipolar. Oh, my God. He's depressed. Oh, he has anxiety. But he's still winning, though. <laughs> what, you mad because you didn't believe in yourself like that? He believed in himself to another degree that people just do not understand. He knew what he was going to be, and he believed it. Not only did he manifest it, he put in the work. He was boots on the ground. 
Did y'all not hear a story where he was in that basement? Did you not hear how, how shit happened? Like, I feel like anytime you're about to be successful, it's going to be some crazy shit to knock your socks off. And I feel like that's a pivotal moment for you to know whether can you still continue or is you going to back down. He had his whole Joel Wyatt shut and made a whole song. And making beats in the basement hot as hell like I'm hot in this hoodie. Are you dumb? I get passionate about this, guys. I get passionate about this because mental health is real. Like, if some, whatever anybody's going through, you got to get to the origin of the problem. That's the only way you're going to solve it. That's the only way you're going to solve it. People just don't start acting the way they act. Something happened. Something that broke them to say, okay, I got to cope with this. I got to just do this. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I know. I, like, I'm, I'm very self-aware. Of my, and I'm just, I'm just grateful that I'm like that. And I told y'all also got outside. Yeah, I have a therapist. I love them both. I have two of them, both of them. Because they got the ping pong me. Because it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's some shit going on. You understand what I'm saying? And I need them to help me sort out the shit so I don't behave and react in certain things that will self-sabotage me. I want to be great. Period. There, there is no other option but greatness. There, there is no other option. You understand? And I know that. It takes a team, and I'm not really a team player, guys. Not gonna lie about that. But you know what I mean. And I, but I'm learning to be that. You know what I mean. And it's like they, they do their best to figure out the origin of. Like, I'm gonna give you an example of something that happened uh, recently. What was this? This was in the beginning of February, maybe the end of January. So, um, a friend had reached out to me. Now, the meanest person is cool. You know what I'm saying? We we've always we've always been cool. We never had a we never me and this guy never had a problem. I don't remember us having any problems, or anything like that, right? So I wound up going over to see him. Now this is now this is a platonic friend. Like yeah, I mean back in the day, did we jab and slap? Yes, we did. Maybe once or twice. You know, but it was like eh, you know, let's try it out. Eh, it didn't work. Okay, whatever. That's how it was. Like that, this was early 20 time. I'm 35, so y'all do the math. So I said okay, boom. So we go over, we hang out, we talking hella shit. I mean, we talking hella shit. We having a good time. Wind up falling asleep on the couch. I wake up, I say, oh shit, I got to get ready. I got to go to work. Whatever, dapped it up, left. No jab on the slap, no fucking nothing. That's not where the mindset was. Check it out, right? So then, I come over there again. We hanging out, we talking shit. And he tells someone that I'm in his bed. Right now, how I found out this information was crazy. It was definitely a slipper when the person told me. And then when I asked him, I was like, yo, I'm like, did you tell somebody that I was like, I was in your bed as if we slept together or some shit like that? His first question to me was, who told you that? See, like when you're in this field, right? It's like, you know, I pay attention to tone, the tone of your voice. The speed in which you answer something. Th these are just context clues. The, the tone of voice. The speed in which you answer something. If I'm in front of you, where your eyes are when, you, when you're talking to me. Your body language. And for sure your energy. Because I can feel it. And I, the energy, I believe over anything else. I really do. But it was the, instead of saying, hell no, I ain't do nothing like that. Why? What happened? Who said that? The first thing was, who said that? Does it matter who if it's true? Does it matter who if it's true? So then they're like, oh, you know, I want you to tell me. And instead of me, because a part of me was like, nah, I'm a, the person that told me. I'm, we going to all get on the conversation and be like, nah, I'm like, did you, did you, you told me this. And I felt, and I just, I just went ghost on a person. I didn't respond. I didn't say anything. Because when I'm hurt or somebody betrays me, I just back off. There ain't no conversation. And that's not healthy. If somebody is your friend, if somebody you fuck with and you don't have that conversation, that's not healthy. Like, oh, it's for your own mental health if you back up. Yeah, it is. But you know you want to have a conversation. Like, be real with yourself. Do you feel okay? If you feel okay without having a conversation, then that is great. But if you're the type of person that really needs some type of conversation, not even closure, just to be like, yo, like, you want to know the why. And that's who you are. Then it's okay for that to be for you. And then you have to deal with that. I'm just saying, don't, we need to, I say that to say that there's a reason why I reacted like that. You know what I'm saying? That there's something that happened a, a very long time ago where I noticed that when I did confront 
situations or when somebody, I, I didn't get anywhere. So I just shut down and say, you know what, somebody do me wrong, I'm just ghosting them. We're not doing that. Block, ghost. We don't, I'm not having a conversation with anybody. Fuck you and the dead horse you wrote in on. I don't care about none of that. Any of that. I'm done. It's over. Something stuck. You know, and that's not healthy for me. You feel me? So we got to understand why is he reacting like this? Because every time you're always coming against this man and he put, he gives greatness. Oh, you can't be a great producer. You didn't produce. He didn't produce songs that we didn't even know that he produced. And they were great. You sitting there bopping in your car like, oh, that's that new Yeezy. Yeah. But you doubted him now. But that's that new Yeezy. We understand. He did the Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Walk star. Give me the sit. Like, come on. Y'all Y'all was bumping it. I was bumping it. They said the man could not. He could not do clothes, fashion, none of that. Just tried to exclude him out that world. And now everybody got his sneakers on his on their feet. Imagine that. Imagine getting kicked down at every accomplishment you are trying to make or you are going through. Imagine getting kicked down constantly, 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 constantly. And you still prevail. Like, nope, I'm still doing it. I'm, do you know what type of confidence that takes? Hey, this is on a higher scale. This ain't no just, I'm a regular Joe. It's Kanye motherfucking West. Stop throwing that mental health show. I'm not saying that he doesn't have mental health concerns. He could very well have that. Genuinely. Genuinely. However, let's, let's, I don't, I don't think, I just feel like I understand his reaction and stuff. I understand, I understand him being explosive. I understand him always, the, <laughs> the people, <coughs> you lived your whole career, people always putting you inside the box. Nope, you're just a producer. Nope, you're just a rapper. No, you're just going to make some shoes. You can't go back to music. People always trying to put you in a box. Get out the box. Get out the box. Don't allow these, but don't allow these fools to keep you in that box. That's why Kanye is what Kanye West is my favorite. I want to learn to have confidence like that. Like not to not give a fuck on a cellular level. On a certain level, like, you hear the criticism, that just make you go harder. To use that negativity as motivation to make you go hard. Stop calling that man crazy. It's an insult. It's an insult to say, and I'm not saying y'all got to understand Kanye West. It just speaks to how mental health, how dismissive they are. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, especially, I, and this is just, I, I'm not bashing anybody. This, this is my truth. Especially psychiatrists. Very dismissive to me. You know how hard, you, it's, it's, it's just, it amazes me. Like, because they don't understand how could he have this much confidence? How? How? How, how, how does he have that? Do you understand what it is to have confidence like that? I don't even understand. I would love. I, th I think he's awesome. He can be whatever anybody else want to call him. I think he's fucking awesome. I think he's awesome. Yeah, he's done some questionable things. I'd be like, what? well, why did, why did you say that? Oh, she's in rice. Well, no, but, and, that, and, that just, and, and saying that no one is perfect is not an excuse. It is the truth. He is not perfect or what perfection looks at for some people. So, yes, he's going to say how he feels at the time. And that's okay. Other people say how they feel. He's entitled to say how he feels. Y'all doubted this man the whole time. At least let him speak his goddamn piece if that's what he want to do. Stop calling that man crazy. I will always refer to Dave Chappelle on this one. Stop calling that man crazy because when somebody doesn't understand something about you or they want to be dismissive, they call you crazy. Think about how many times you, you're in a conversation with somebody and the conversation is, is, is not interesting. It's not interesting to you at all anymore. You want to get off the phone and with you, the first thing people say, oh, that's crazy. <clears throat> that's crazy. Oh my God, that's crazy. It's like, how many is that crazy do you have to hear before you want to hang up? I don't want to talk. And that's what the word crazy is. Dismissive. So thanks for that email. You wanted my opinion. That's my opinion. I, I would like, I, just calling him crazy is rude and disrespectful. It's dismissive. You know, anytime somebody don't understand why, why y'all don't understand his confidence, you understand him reacting the way he does because he's been doubted for his whole career. And time after time after time after time, he's proven his goddamn self to be greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. Come on, man. Y'all said he would, oh, he would be was a producer. Now he became a rapper. Y'all said, oh, well, he would be as a rapper and a producer. And now he's a rapper, producer, and he's making clothes. And y'all walking around with his shoes on his feet. It's the audacity for me. Don't be mad. You know what? People be mad because they don't have the type of confidence you have. Fuck out of here. Forehead and I, you know, I got to get in the shower. I'm hot. That conversation made me hot. I am sweating. I'm sweating. I got to get in the shower. But yes, I just shared out with y'all to say that. Listen, 
That's how I feel about Kanye West. And that's coming from the mental health, mental counselor perspective. So, like, comment, subscribe, share. I know the fact checkers is out there. People got something to say. Say it with your chest. Yeah.